Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on surfaces. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem about curved surfaces submerged in liquid. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Figure shows the cross section of tank full of water under pressure. The length of tank is 2 meter. The empty cylinder lies along the length of tank on one of its corners as shown in figure. Find the horizontal and vertical components of force acting on the curved surface ABC of the cylinder. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand what is the given diagram. Now if we observe this is the tank that is the top of the tank starting from this point A and this curve A, B, C is in contact with water. So this tank is full of water. And if we observe here the pressure on this tank is given 0.2 kg per centimeter square. So what is the standard unit for the uh, pressure that is Newton per meter square. So we have to first convert this kg per centimeter square into Newton per meter square. So how to convert kg into Newton that is 1 kg is equal to 9.8 Newton. So we will multiply here 0 0.2 into 9.8 and then we have to convert centimeter square into meter square. So centimeter square is equal to 10 raised to minus 4 meter square. So when we shift this 10 raised to minus 4 into numerator because here per centimeter square because this centimeter square term is in the denominator. So it will become that is 10 raised to minus 4 in the denominator will become 10 raised to 4. So what is the term here that is 0 0.2 into 9.81 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per meter square. So when we calculate this we will get 1.962 10 raised to 4 Newton per meter square. So this is the pressure on the tank that we have to refer here. Then the height of this point A to C that is this curve ABC is submerged or in contact with liquid or water and the height from this point A to C is given that is 1.5 meter. Now we have to find out what is the components of force that is acting on this curved surface ABC. So we know that this is the curved surface. So the force F that is the pressure force applied by the water on this curve will be in the inclined direction that is here. I will show this is the force F. So we have to resolve this force into two components that is horizontal component. So I will resolve here. This is the Fx and vertical component this is fy so now we have to find out what is fx and what is fy then the radius that is also given 1 meter so if we observe this given data we have to write radius 1 meter then the length is also given for 2 meter and then the pressure that is this is the value converted value in Newton per meter square. So here is the three dimensional diagram. So point A is at here. So we have to refer here point A. This is the point B and this is the bottom point C. So this is the curved surface of the cylindrical shape that is in contact with the water. Now this pressure is given. So what is the formula to calculate the pressure that is rho g h. So H is the pressure head. So from this pressure we will calculate the value of H that is pressure head. So pressure head is equal to H is equal to P by rho G. So P we have to take the standard unit in Newton per meter square divided by rho. So density of water 1000 and G 9.81. So which is equal to 2 meter. So we can say that this is the free surface of water will be at height of 2 meter from the top of the tank. So we have to show this 2 meter distance from the top of the tank. So this is the top of the tank and for free surface of water. So this is the starting point of the tank. So here we have to show this above that the height is 2 meter. So I will show this. 
so this is the free surface of water so here this distance is 1.5 and above that here is 2 meter distance for the free surface of water now we will calculate horizontal component of force that is fx so let us first understand what is this fx that is the force of water on this curve abc projected on vertical plane why we are taking this curve abc because this curve abc is in contact with water so we have to draw here the three dimensional diagram and it's a vertical plane so if we observe this is the half cylindrical part and on that part here is the location of point a now what is the vertical plane projected that means on this half cylindrical part in between these two extreme points there is the rectangular portion that is the vertical cut section if we observe so here we have to extend this point a on this three dimensional diagram so i will say here this will be point p then here will be point f and here will be point h so if we observe this p f h c this is the vertical plane of abc projected of this curve abc is getting projected so now we have to find out area for this rectangular portion so here the length is given that is the what is the length of p to f that is equal to 2 meter and what is this height that is from p to c or f to h so here the height is given that is in between this point a to c that is 1.5 meter so we have to take 1.5 multiplied by 2 this is the area that we have to consider for this fx so what is the formula for the fx that is rho g a h bar and what is this h bar that is the distance of center of gravity from the free surface of water now how to locate the center of gravity point now here this curve a b c is in contact with water so this is the total height 1.5 meter and we have to take 1.5 divided by 2 so at this distance we have to locate here the gravity point that is g and we have to add the distance from free surface of water so from this top point a that is this is the curve ABC and from this top point there is 2 meter distance. So how to find out the exact location of this center of gravity that is 2 plus 1.5 divided by 2. So this is the H bar. So when we put all this value we will get the value of Fx that is 80932.5 Newton and this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the calculation of vertical component of force that is Fy. So how to calculate this? So the curve that is in contact with water is ABC. So we have to take weight of water enclosed by the curve ABC up to free surface of water. So we know that this is the free surface of water. So we have to make here one construction. So how to make the enclosed area for this curve ABC up to free surface of water. So here remember that point A and point C these are the extreme points and because of these points the area is open area. Now we have to enclose this area. So we have to first extend this point A up to its free surface of water that is this line AE and we have to again extend this point C up to free surface of water this is the line c o d now we have to join this point d and e so if we observe we have to take the weight of water enclosed in area c o d e a b c so this is the required area so if we observe diagram how to calculate this so we will again make one construction so here is the construction line that is we have to extend this point b up to its free surface area that is free surface of water that is b to f so this is the construction line now how we can define this required area that is c o d e a b c so we can also write c o d f b c so this area minus 
the area for a e f b then we will get this required area so how we can write this or how we can calculate this weight of water in the area for c o d f b c so this is the combination of two areas that is here is the point 1 and here is the point 2 so here this is the area o b c so this is one area and here is o b f d o so this is the second area so weight of water means what that is rho into g into volume for which we have to calculate the weight so we have to calculate the volume for these two areas so volume means what area multiplied by length so length is 2 meters that is common for both the areas so now we will move for the first area that is cob so how to calculate the area for cob so this is the quarter circle so quarter circle means what pi by 4 r square so r is 1 meter that is given so we have to take pi into 1 square by 4 plus we have to add here this second area so this is the rectangular shape so we will take bo into od so here in the question this od distance is given that is 2.5 meter and what is bo that is 1 meter so we have to take 1 into 2.5 so this area we have to put here the bracket because we have to take this rho g common as well as this length common for both these areas so we have to first calculate this pi by 4 into 1 square we have to calculate this then 1 into 2.5 we have to calculate this and we have to add this and then we will multiply with remaining terms then what is the answer here so answer is 64458.5 newton now we will calculate the area a e f b a so how to calculate that so for that we have to make here one construction that we have to extend this point a up on this line b o that is point h and we have to join this La point A O to A. So here, this is the triangle A H O, and we will consider here this angle as a theta. So we know that weight of water in this area means what? Rho into G multiplied by the area for A E F B A multiplied by this length that is two. So here we have to write. So now we have to define this area. So how to define this? So we can split here this area, or we can add this. remaining area so how we can define this a e f g so here a e f g that means we have to extend this point a in the horizontal direction and here we will consider this point g and now we have to add this remaining area that is a g b h but what is happening we have to remove this area that is triangle a b h so here this is the area that we have to remove so here this is the formula to calculate this required area now what is happening here in this triangle sin theta is equal to now in this triangle aho we can say that sin theta is equal to ah by ao now what is the height of ah now if we observe from d to o 2.5 meter height is given and from this point a to e 2 meter is given so 2.5 minus 2 that is 0.5 so here a to h is 0.5 and ao that is the radius 1 meter so sin theta is equal to 0.5 and theta is equal to 30 degree now how to calculate this area abh so abh is equal to now area of triangle abo minus area of triangle aho so these are, now here sorry this is not triangle but this is the area under the curve abo minus area of triangle aho so area under this curve abo means what so how to find out this so we know that this is here is the angle theta so when there is the quarter circle we will take here as a divided by 4 why we are taking this divided by 4 because this total 
total perimeter which is equal to 360 degree and out of that there is only 90 degree is there so 90 by 360 is equal to 1 by 4 so we are taking here as a 4 divided by 4 but here we know this is the only portion that is limited to this 30 degree angle so we have to take here multiply with 30 by 360 that is whole area pi r square multiplied by 30 by 360. So we are taking this. Minus area of triangle AHO. So we know that what is the area of triangle this base multiplied by half. Half multiplied by this uh, base multiplied by this height. That is half multiplied by this AH into HO. Now we will put here the value. So what is the value here? That is pi into r square by 12 minus what is the value of a to h? So a to h is 0 0.5 and what is the value of ho? So ho is equal to this ao into cos theta. So ao that is radius that is 1 into cos 30 that is equal to 0 0.866. So we have to take divided by 2. Now what is the answer here 0 0.0453 that is the area for ABH so we have calculated this now we will again move for the weight of water AE FB so how to calculate this so again we will move for that is here is the area for AEFB that is rho into G that is 1000 into 9.81 that is 9810 in the bracket area a e f g now remember that a e f g this is the rectangle so we can take this a e into a g so we will take this plus a g b h a g b h that is this a g into a h so this is also two sides we have to take minus a B H so A B H we have calculated here so we will take here 0 0.0453 as it is and we will take this area outside the bracket this length because this length is common so we will take here outside the bracket now we will put the values so what is the value of A E so this point A to E that is equal to 2 so here it is given then what is the value of A G so this AG which is equal to this BH and BH means what? BH means BO minus HO. So HO that is we have calculated and BO that is 1. So 1 minus 0 0.866 which is equal to 0 0.134 and that is equal to AG that we have to take plus. Again AG into H. So AG is 0 0.134 into A to H. So A to H that we have to take here this distance so this is the a to h that we have to take so this 2.5 minus 2 that is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0453 into 2 so what is the answer here 5684 newton now we will put the calculated values to find out the vertical component of force that is Fy. So what is the value here? So Fy is equal to 58,774.5 Newton.